In this lesson, we're doing an example uh, similar to the previous video, but here we're going to find two different unknowns amongst two different similar triangles. Uh, so uh, the first thing I think that is challenging about this problem is that I have these two similar triangles, but they're not necessarily oriented the same way. So the first thing we need to do is identify our corresponding sides, because remember that ratios of corresponding sides are equal. That's the whole basis for how we use proportions to solve, um, solve similar triangles, to find sides of those similar triangles. So uh, let's just go about identifying these, and usually the easiest way to do it is first start by identifying the largest side in each shape. So uh, 20 meters is definitely the largest side of this triangle, and this y, this unknown number of meters, is definitely the largest side of the bigger triangle. Okay, so we know that those two go together. Um, and then after that, maybe find the smallest side. So I think it's pretty clear 12 is the smallest side in this smaller triangle. Um, and 18 is the smallest side in the larger triangle. So then that, that of course, leaves x and 24 going together. All right. so, um, so now the way we go about this is just to simply ignore one of the unknowns. So let's pretend like y doesn't even exist. Pretend it's not on the page. Let's just go about figuring out what x is. So I know that x goes along with 24, just like we showed. So now we need to find two other sides that go together and set those up in a ratio. All right, well, 12 and 18, I know both of those. So I should probably use those because y and 20 go together. But of course, remember, we're not looking at y yet. Y is not going to do us any good because we don't know what it is. So we'll use 12 and 18. And because x came on top and it's from the smaller triangle, I better use 12 on top for my other ratio because it's also from the smaller triangle. So we have x over 24 equals 12 over 18. Now I've shown this trick a couple of times um, in some previous proportions, but remember if you can reduce one of your ratios easily, you should. So 6 is the greatest common factor of 12 and 18, and by dividing top and bottom by 6, I'm going to make the numbers I have to work with a lot more friendly here. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, 18 divided by 6 is 3. So now of course we can do our cross product. And so this is 3x equals 24 times 2, which is 48. And then finally we can divide both sides by 3 to get the x all by itself. And if we need a little scratch work, we can do that to figure out what 48 divided by 3 is. 3 goes into 4 one time, and 3 goes into 18 six times. So we now know that x is 16 meters. So that is one of our answers, but they gave us two things to find, right? We need to find both x and y. So now to find y, uh, I think it's pretty clear that um, maybe y over 20 is going to be helpful or 20 over y, it doesn't matter, but we can see y and 20 go together. And we need to set that equal to the ratio of two other corresponding sides. Now, I know what x is now. So technically, this 16 is available for me to use. However, let me suggest to you that you don't use the, uh, the variable you just found when you're trying to find the second variable. And the reason is, suppose you made some sort of mistake over here and didn't realize it. Well, if you then use that incorrect answer for x in trying to find y, you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to get y wrong as well. But if you use, say, 12 and 18 again, um, and even if you got x incorrect, you may still get y correct. So, um, so I would suggest using the two numbers you know for sure. So 
we had y coming first or sorry coming on top and so I better put 18 on top in my other ratio because 18 also comes from the bigger triangle and I'll put 12 on bottom and again we've already discussed how we can divide the top and bottom of 18 twelfths by 6 oops it's supposed to be a 6 and so that'll again make things go a little more smoothly so y over 20 equals 3 over 2 take our cross product 2y equals 3 times 20 is 60 and then finally we can divide both sides by 2 and 60 divided by 2 is of course 30 so y is equal to 30 meters